My father told me to dress well in front of my conquerors. His two sons, me, the youngest he used to school me, said, boy, you better start getting used to dressing like color barriers. You know the men around here like that black skin and curly white, his breath smelling like somebody's noose. I watch him riding outside to an office in Manhattan and a whole block of captives. Downtown bound four trains is like a slave galley. We all back into the American dream. Sin cage with silk leather Nike boots with necklaces that still smell like Africa. All for a job interview where masters out of subconscious back into our flesh. There are bees crying in our stomach begging for freedom. Cause the sting of slavery still lingers here. And I swear, every office I've ever been into feels like an auction block. The round seats for whipped backs, and they all sarcastic as fuck, like, please, sir, have a seat right here. Sit next to Amos and Andy. Find comedy in your insecurities. Won't you hang around for a little bit to hear? And why 400 years of slavery sounds like John Henry against the freight train? Let me let you crop up to corporate America, outsourcing like a revolutionized transatlantic train. And it's reminding me of why was the commodity of West Africa. Oh, the gym bay jumps and a heartbeat like fella and a cotton field yeah. mask has been hanging our family trees for some time now. Women complain about palms, holding much triumph and pain in our fingertips. They say that being held in our hands feels like blocking a whiplash. Our voices become less of thunderstorms and more like underground railroads. We all whisper enough to sound like we know our place here on downtown bound trains, bound for captivity, shackled and hanged as my father behind the desk. And I swear, I want to tell him all that he's been grateful. It's plastered between dumb graffiti textbooks with the chapter of flesh of people that look like us smiling. It's a resume of our own. We built this home of the free and shackles. And now we all rock 90s for victory. Because before I was picking cotton, you were picking me, so yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm more than qualified to strip these soles that can take cloth off the soles of my shoes and rest well in any fucking office. <laughs>